Just make sure that you like and subscribe to keep updated for the next parts. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. All right, let's do this. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has oh, information geez. on a stolen car rack. An abandoned vehicle. We'll catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. <laughs> Very funny. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. Hey, you think those bikes are I swear I said the exit. Uh, okay. No, I think that's the exit. You were just walking into a locked door. <laughs> well, I did that on purpose, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice car. Is that our car? You drive. I need to go over the case now. You hear about Adrian? Fraud in Seattle threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take Really? Back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Not with an experience. To hear that, Mrs. Black has taken Mr. Black back. I'm thinking Patches O'Houlihan from Dodgeball. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> we got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Oh, a lot like Phelps. Yeah. They're going to get along famously. I bet they're both racist. I like there's a baseball bat. Oh, look, that's, that's something shiny. Yeah, but there's a baseball bat. Can we not vote? Okay. You going to take the baseball bat with you? Oh. Wait, dickhead. That's mine. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> that's my piece of evidence. Get away from it. Combination right. Dewey Bros. That's a new location. Let's go and call it in. Well, what are you doing? That's mine as well. There's stones there. Oh, there's a phone on the pole at the back. Call in the Dewey Bros location. There's a phone on the way. Have you turned around behind the car while we walked in? Just on the telephone pole there. Blue oh, I knew that. I was testing you. You passed. Well done. <laughs> you see the socks hanging on the left. On the washing line. Oh, look at Hulahan. Look at his stance in the background. He thinks he's so cool, doesn't he? With a name like that, I bet he got bullied. <laughs> Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Run the name Dewey Brothers, possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks for your help. Cole, you're so serious, man. I need to calm down and get laid. So it's a diplomatic vehicle. Is that the Argentinian flag? It's a flag. 
their plates. That's a bit illegal. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Hmm. Well, we can't because it's not there. <laughs> Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. So where did Daddy put that wheel? Empty. No, it's not. There's a case in there. He is lying, and he also seems so surprised. Empty. Argentina. Boom. Argentinian embassy. And I'm shite at geography as well. It's only got one flag, man. The other one's broke. Can we look at it? No, it's the wheel. Huh. Maybe if you look at the front of the car. No, that they, they do have two flags, don't they? Yeah, you can see where it snapped off. Look. Oh, okay. Let's see if there's anything else knocking about. So we've got a wrench. We've got a missing wheel. What are you looking at? That's mine. Argentinian consultant. Nothing significant. Okay. Someone casually leaves their clothes laying in the mud. As they do. Slip. Shall we talk to the old man? Yeah. I want to talk to him with the baseball bat. <laughs> I don't think we're going to need to. I think these two are going to get on just fine. Oswald Jacob. What was, it, what was he holding there? Is that a passport? So what exactly happened here, Mr. Jacob? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. No, I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always School baseball. My windows, always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. All right. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on brick. This guy's a knob. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans. Oh, oh the another racist, of course. Is he telling the truth? It looks like he's telling looking the truth. looking straight at us, isn't he? Well, he's racist, you know. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering <laughs> and yelling obscenities at me in Mexico. You speak Spanish? Sir? No, I do well, I could not. have been saying good day, sir. Good day, sir. After the uh, Mexican left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? <laughs> After, After the uh, scared him off? Mexican stuff. No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. I think he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, got, he's got, he was holding a passport. Doubt him. Too late. <laughs> I didn't know there were three of them. It was dark. Must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? Damn skippy hippie. Uh, Stolen Packard. Old Ford, old Ford, old Ford. Oh, wait, 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 this is evidence, isn't it? Yeah. Can we back out of it? Registration slip. Looks like I was oh. mistaken. <laughs> Did you back out then, or? Yeah, you said back out. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise you had. Um... It's like he's dying to tell us something. That's the kind of face I pull when I'm. Um, let's leave it at that. <laughs> I think doubting. I, th I think doubting. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Oh yes. Feel law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. I just did. 
Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Convenient. Yeah. Is he lying? Are you lying to me, old man? He looks like Walter, Joe, that guy that does the puppets. Uh, no. This guy. no, I don't. He does Ahmed the terrorist. Oh, yes. He looks like Walter, the old man. Okay. Right. Um, Truth. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Oh, oh what? We're smashing this. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. No, you're lying. Because we know there was a registration plate. It's about a crime. And flag. He's about to cry. Do you want a <laughs> tissue? <laughs> he looks like he's so proud of himself. Why did you take the license plate? Me? What would I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Uh. Where are you going with this? I just want to accuse him. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you going to accuse him of? He's doing the whole theft himself. Blame it on the Mexicans because he's an incredible racist. But we've just believed him about all the rest of the stuff he said about the Mexicans. Why are we suddenly changing our mind about the Mexicans? We got those three questions right, apparently. I reckon the license plates, maybe. All right. Either that or doubt him. Let's shout him. You're off the hook. Oh. For now. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove Ooh, compartment. Oh, nice. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car we rank out eight. of the way, maybe you yeah, can come back I'm and pretty, do something pretty about incredible. those kids. Then well, you assisted, of course. Fast. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Officer Tom. Oh, so well, cool. that's detective now. We need to get the notebook off the bench. Blonde locks, good natured, gentle boy, Bam Brown, Teddy Hopper, full lips. What? Oh, okay. So this is when. Is this, you know, when people, diplomats go to like parties and stuff or meetings and they don't know the people's names? Do I have to get a bit of information about them? Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Oh, pleasure. Oh, William Dewey. The wrench. Dewey Bros. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm a genius. Glad I thought that. Let's accuse him. Right, so, where are we going now? Do we call it in, or do we just go there? I don't know. Uh, let's check our notes. Go case objectives. If we go back a page, right at the bottom. So yeah, investigate the jury bros. That's it, Mario Brothers. We come. I mean, jury brothers. We're coming after <laughs> Mario Brothers. Uh, the Mario Brothers weren't car mechanics. Uh, yeah, they use spanners. That's an, no, that's where? Okay, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah, I can go with that. Who was that guy in the background? I'm driving. Look out in case we get any calls. Whoa! Who put that there? <laughs> Sorry guys, sorry about that. 
This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is very to drive. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Oh, we've got discovered another landmark. Oh. Press A. Respond. Did you press A? Probably not in time, no. Huh? Probably not in time. No. Oh well. Dodge to drive. Oh my god. Get out of the road. <laughs> Get out of the road. Tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. He's a overly happy chappy, isn't he? Yeah, I don't like how happy he is. Let's piss him off. What, what are we going to do? We're, well, we're following him now into... I'm going to accuse him. No, what, <laughs> doing the work himself? Yep. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. What's he trying to suggest that we get paid nothing? Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you need. My two year old niece could do this puzzle. How did he get that wrong? One left. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Well, oh. that doesn't go there. So it must go there. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Alright, let's go find out who this guy is. Are you Gabriel Delgado? <laughs> circumcise him, circumcise him. Oh, let's keep these. We could use them for inter <laughs> interrogation. Oh, you employers. What's this? Circumstantial. What about this side? Can I kick it? Oh, license plate. Can we look at that license plate? That's not an Argentinian one, is it? Don't think this is anything. I presume you would have the flag on for the Argentine embassy. Yeah. Can we lower the jack? Or we'll kill him? Yeah. Collateral damage. It's not really collateral damage, that's just straight out murder. There's a bullpeen hammer. Not much help. Oh, it would be an interrogation. Are we going to go speak to Mr. Dewey about the missing wrench? Yes, yes we are. Great idea. Why didn't you think of that? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Association with Valdez. No, wrench missed. Whereabouts of Delgado? I don't know, pick one. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. It sure as hell isn't here. Uh, oh, that was a bit shady, wasn't it? Doubt him. Do it. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car oh, door. How? See, I told you they're my kind of people. Apartment 
Or racist and violent. <laughs> Tell him from just, me. No. If he ever shows his face Not the violent again, I'm gonna or the racist. From here to just Kingdom generally come. good people. So we missed that. What happened there? Something. Okay. Let's fry them off and do this then. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favoured by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Oh, bullshit. We've got his number. Contact details. He's telling the truth. But why has he got Mr. Dewey's number, though? He's lying. Well, we've got evidence that he's got. We've got. His, he's got his direct number. And I know a shyster oh. when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez, I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. We've got evidence. The notebook. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something. Okay, so I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal. He bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Well, that's fairly illegal. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. It's even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Racism is a real problem in yeah. 1940s, clearly. I think he's telling the truth. Well, I didn't hear what he said about Delgado before. Doubt him then. I know what I'm saying. I don't know what he said. He said something about Delgado not being allowed near him or something. Like he says, if he comes near me, I'm going to kick his butt or something. Quote, unquote. So. I don't know, because actually I don't know. I think he's telling the truth. So that's it. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. Oh, my apologies. Thank you for your help, Mr. Sorry. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest oh, fuck car off. salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your call. Oh, oh, oh. Shot really fired. Pew, pew, pew. Head back to the empty lot. Tally here, good chaps. Off we go. <laughs> you know the way. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? <laughs> What's a dimension? <laughs> you know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. What's that driving? Well, that's clear as mud. That's him. Dabrowski, considering you're in traffic so, law. Things will be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. It'll scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of hockey as a color. Look what we have now. Right, let's go and get this Mexican who is Hispanic. This person of different ethnicity that seems to be the brunt of all of their humour well, in this. We're hardly Donald Trump, but we can see where he gets his mentality from, can't you? Exactly. He probably played too much of this. As... <laughs> so how's his problem? He played too much L.A. Noir, which caused his racism. Yeah. Is it? How you doing, guys? Oh, looking. What the hell Typical Hispanics sitting on walls, smoking and talking. Can I punch him in the face? No, you can't get punching the Hispanics in the face. I'm sure that's that's like, what's it called? Racial hate, hate violence. What's it called? Hate crime. Hate crime. That's the one we got there in the end. I need to brush up on my uh, on my legal skills. Just walks in. Oh, it's an apartment complex. Okay. We need to find out which apartment needs in, mate. Well, I did that. I was testing you. Uh, I didn't see a mailbox, though. 
a mailbox is mail on the floor. Just mind you. That, that's a big box. There's a bunch of mail there. The Hispanics don't have mailboxes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Here he is. Apartment three. It's got one floor up. There's one and two is downstairs. Oh, there we are. Marvellous. With a gold knob. Bay stole that as well, didn't he? She's got to be pregnant, hasn't she? Yes. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia. You understand? Yes. I understand. <laughs> Would you come inside? What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here? Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? This is such a stereotype, isn't it? We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. I, I don't know many Hispanic people, I have to be honest, but I'm, I'm presuming they're not all like that. So Hello. There's our Argentinian flag. Yeah. Can we look at it? No. Nearly 20 weeks. Oh, oh, oh we got to interrogate her. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. Can't do it yet, I guess. Father. It says press X to talk. I was pushing X. Okay. Unless you help us Number here, four. your little one won't be oh. named Papa for a very long time. Hey, keep it Whoops. Down, would you? My little girl just got Sorry. Police. There we go. So the Argentinian flag's on the table, mate. I'm sorry. Yeah. Kettle. Two plates. A letter. Can we look at the letter? Serving breakfast for two, Anna. You should have cleared up. Oh, there's a shed with a gold knob on it. We can walk in there. I'm on to you, man. I'm going down. <laughs> right. Are they wheels there? Why is why are those number plates different to the the black one? Probably not. different to the others. Ah, it says the IP on it. There's wheels on the top there. No? Okay. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the two big shiny wheels would give it away. <laughs> and their pack cards. We're not interrogating at the moment, Tom. Oh, but there's. There's the lump hammer. I was all about that. I was all about the pry bar. Okay. So we know for a fact that it was Mr. Elgado. Yeah, and he has the name Gabriel. I would have thought he was an angel. I wonder where you were going with that. Alright, woman. You're lying. You really ought to take more time over the Packard belts. Let's head back to the empty. Why? You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Last contact. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? Yeah, for breakfast. I haven't seen him for at least. Lies! You're a liar. But if that's the case, then you've got bad hygiene because that's growing things in the kitchen. <laughs> you keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby. Oh, whoa! What? what? They're con controversial, dude. I swear it. Bullshit. 
Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Right for spikes. And the wheels are here. Yeah. And the Argent Argentinian flags in here. This car was abandoned yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. He oh, well, then. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Cool story. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? no? I think she's telling the truth. She's quite angry about that, isn't she? Yeah. You don't want to be lying to me, woman. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. 